We wrap up our spotlight on Husker Harvest Days today with more on crop conditions, harvest season, and how soybean farmers are helping out local first responders. Once again, here's John live from Husker Harvest Days with a member of the Nebraska Soybean Board. Yeah, hey Taryn, we are at Husker Harvest Days and I'm here with Tom Hoxmeyer with the Nebraska Soybean Board and good to see you this morning. Thanks for having me, John. Yes, yeah, so you're at the Commodity Building today. What's going on? Yeah, so this year the Nebraska Soybean Board's at Lot 10 uh, here on Main Street with the other commodity groups in our uh, respective association groups. So we're just excited to be here this week, talk to farmers, talk to consumers, talk to youth and families just about about soybean production and what's going on in the industry. And one cool thing we've got going on at our booth this year is a entry to win some uh, custom cornhole boards. So people can come in the door and scan a QR code and enter to, to win some cool uh, uh, cornhole boards for their uh, family. Yeah. It's, it's always good to come here and get some free stuff. Yeah, yeah. That's it's kind of part of it, isn't it? Getting yeah, some free stuff? Yeah, good opportunity <laughs> to have conversations and yeah. Yes, absolutely. And I know people are talking about harvest right now. That's kind of on the radar screen. What are you seeing from producers in terms of soybean harvest? Yeah, so unfortunately we've had a really dry August. It seems like hasn't we haven't caught any rains in August. So it seems like farmers are going to be out in the field pretty soon here and Hopefully yield isn't impacted too much based on what we you know, didn't get for moisture in August, but it's looking like farmers are starting silage and some wet moisture corn, so they're soon gonna be harvesting soybeans out in their fields too, but we'll see what this dry month has kind of done for us here in the state. But hopefully, hopefully that other moisture we've gotten throughout the summer can turn into some decent yields for, for soybean farmers, we'll Boy, see. I know it's been dry for some. Yep. Um, and I know you guys are promoting something here today. Tell us a little bit more about soy foam. Yeah, so yeah, at our booth this year, we're giving away 10 pails of soy foam at our, at our booth this year. So people can scan another QR code to win and enter the soy foam. But this is a cool new soy based product. It's a uh, soy based firefighting foam that local fire departments can use. Uh, it's a plug and play option for uh, firefighters to use for foam. But what's really cool about this product is it's, it's free of forever chemicals, free of uh, PFAS. Uh, chemicals which are kind of toxic and harmful to human health so it's a really cool product that we can talk about it uses soy flour and it's going to be a really hot and exciting product that we can promote to farmers and local fire departments so it's going to be a really awesome opportunity for farmers that is really great and i know you guys are always thinking about a harvest safety this time of the year yeah it we're always promoting that farmers should just take slow down and take that time for for themselves and make sure they're they're focused on what they need to do and just reach out to other people if they need help during this busy, really busy time of year. Just take it slow, uh, make sure they're calling out and reaching out to other farmers that they need to, to rely on at this time of year. Really trying to promote harvest safety at this time of year. It's really important. Okay, Tom with uh, the Nebraska Soybean Board, thank you for being here today. Yeah, thanks for having me, John. All right, yep, and we're sending it back to you guys in the studio and Husker Harvest Days. It is underway. This is day one, three days total, and come on out and check it out here just west of Grand Island. Back to you in the studio. All right, thank you, John. Some good reports there.